guys, welcome to our third tutorial in our Xcode 7 series on YouTube. Now in this video, we're going to learn how to pass data between two of your controllers. So to get started, let's open up Xcode and create a new Xcode project. It's going to be a single view application. I'm going to call it passing data. And um, it's going to be Swift and iPhone. And I'm just going to save mine on the desktop. Let's um, uh, go to main.storyboard and... We will need two view controllers for this project. Now this one, um, we are going to drag on a button and a text field. Let's just position them like right next to each other and let's drag them into the middle. And now let's add an extension tray. And then um, let's go to the second view controller Add a label, right smack dab in the middle. And let's center align it and we will just make it a little bigger. Make it as two lines. Now let's um, create a new file and it's going to be called to the controller and then we're going to save it right there and we will link it up to this view controller so to view controller and um this button we're going to name it back and um this will or er, uh send data send And we will make the action to here and hit show. Now let's go to viewcontroller.swift. We're going to create an outlet for the um, text field. And it's going to be a UI text field. And let's, um, uh, we're going to get the prepare for segue. So just type in prepare for segue and press enter. And um, in here we're gonna type ns user default dot standard user default dot set object. And it's going to be text field dot text for key and this key will just be key. And now let's go to two view controller and we're going to create an ID outlet. Going to be called label. I'm going to say UI label. And here we're going to say label.txt equals NS user defaults. The standard user defaults dot object for key. It's going to be key. And we're going to say as um, a string. And now we can. Um, uh, now let's go to um, main art storyboard and we can link everything up. We just have to link up the text field and then we have to link up the label. And then let's run. Just wait for it and... Um, <coughs> should appear like that and let's just type in hello hit send it says hello just like we did so this app is a success so guys thank you guys for watching and i hope you see it in my fourth video which is the second way of passing data which is, there's another way of passing data that's a little more complicated but i find it a little bit easier so guys Bye-bye.